Chris. So uh, here we are at Spra Francorchamps, one of the most famous corners in the world en route. Yeah. Uh, it looks steep, it looks a little dangerous. Uh, what can I know about it to help me through it? Yeah, no, here we are. I mean, we're standing here at the bottom of the hill. We're yeah. Coming from this direction. I mean, downhill, you'll be in fifth gear flat out from yeah. the hard on the limiter. Yeah. Um, you cross this curb over here. Yeah. And then you want to just hug the white line as you go up over the hill there. And yeah. as you're going up, you'll sort of see just blue sky, hopefully. It's not raining. Yeah. Um, and then you just got to let the car go over. And then you flat up again down the big straight, which is heading down that so way. So just a little bit, uh, little bit of forgiveness there if I make a little mistake coming through here, going yeah, a little I mean, bit too quick. There's a bit of run up here at the top of the hill anyway. So yeah. if you really find yourself running a bit wide, um, um, you can just let the car go and then cross over the curb at the top and you know you're sort of in the middle of the curb in the wall so you can just run over all right so i'll just make an educated guess <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i mean it's pretty you pretty much know when you're halfway up the hill if yeah. you're too wide then you know you've got to let the car go okay um but you sort of you'll figure that out pretty quickly yeah self-preservation will prevail yeah yeah you just start off and then you know, <laughs> up, and yeah you'll be all right cool cheers mate yeah. thanks cool and i suppose now we're going to go around to um the next part of the track the bus stop chicane okay which is um quite important because that sort of finishes the lap. Yeah. Um, massive braking as well because you arrive at you know high high speed. Yeah. Um, so I mean that's probably the, the quickest part of the track where we're arriving so it's heavy braking. Yeah. Uh, tight little chicane before the, the last little stretch before the um, finish line. All right. Thanks, man. So here we are, Yui. We've just about finished our track walk at um, Spa. And what do you think so far? And what do you want to watch out for? Yeah, it was uh, it was absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much for showing me around the circuit, man. There's definitely lots yeah. of little tricks and. Yeah. Uh, Man, you know, man, that thing goes up and downhill quite a bit, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a really cool old school, old school circuit. Yeah. Um, with some rises, some um, blind corners. And, yeah. And you know, it's really got some character, and it's and it's really great track to, to yeah. drive on. Yeah. Yeah. What really gets me is that uh, you know some of the curbs you can use, some of them you can't. It's, it's quite deceptive. Uh, not quite as conventional as uh, as it looks. I mean, it's probably harder when we're looking around now, but yeah. then you start to drive and um, you get you know you get a rhythm going. You'll find out pretty quick what's good and what's what's not good, and um, you get a good feeling from it that way. Cool. Cool. So here we are at the bus stop. It's yep. the last corner. I see that uh, it's a nice tight chicane, and then uh, we got a nice run out here. So uh, yeah, I mean, any tips, man? As you arrive up to it, you're absolutely flat out in sixth gear, near on um, top speed here. Um, yeah, it's very hard braking. Um, yeah. You arrive into the the first right hand, the the very tight right hander, which leads into the second corner here. So um, basically, you just got to hang right onto the right hand side there. Um, and then really nail it and get on the gas as quick as you can out of here to finish your lap. And the start, of the, I mean, the lap also starts here for your, your following lap as well. So it really is a double, double whammy, this one. Cool, man. Well, uh, thanks very much for everything. It's been a nice few hours and uh, it's going to be great yeah. out there. Best luck for the weekend, man. Cheers, dude.